What's up, guys? It's another dark video because I don't, I don't know, I don't have a, I don't have a light, and uh, I'm walking down the road to the bus stop. But apparent, oddly, you know what? Oddly enough, these these street lights aren't even on. Anyways, I'm like, oh, halfway through. Watch out, love. I'm like halfway through orders. Uh, latest video and I'm a little disturbed uh, from what I'm hearing not you know not from him but uh, I guess from a reaction from one of his subs or multiple subs watch out this water um, basically look I myself I have six kiddos all right uh, two that live with their mom from a previous marriage and four that live with me now I'll explain this I do not teach my wee ones to be afraid of paranormal things. Huh? I know everyone, the norm is everyone, and here's the problem. Most kids are afraid of the boogeyman, you know, <laughs> an unrealistic boogeyman that doesn't exist. And the difference between my kids and quote unquote normal kids is they're afraid where they can't see in the dark. Why or not? Why? Uh, well, because they're taught on a more realistic uh, train of thought. They know what exists, they know what does not. And in that kind of thought, here comes a car, hold on. Oh, oh he saw me for a second. <laughs> uh, in that train of thought, it, uh, it's uh, it's better, I believe. I grew up personally, and myself, a little light there. Uh, myself, I was a kid. I grew up in a very haunted home, <laughs> and uh, I didn't discover things were off until about fifth grade. Uh, so I had a very interesting childhood, and I understood. Uh, a lot more than adults just uh, putting things like uh, things being thrown out of nowhere and wondering just, oh, maybe yeah, it must have been the wind kind of shite. You know what I mean? Cool. So, uh, yeah. Old Steve-O's childhood was a very good one. Interesting, but a good one. And... Uh, Thankfully, I had a very understanding mother uh, and sisters uh, that did me going through the same stuff. Um, and well, go up there. And well, uh, basically, uh, I'm a little upset the fact that someone would find it upsetting uh, to to teach our kids. Or to, to for them to have an understanding about this kind of stuff at such a young age. Well, the difference is my kids are already going to have a uh, a further insight a lot sooner compared to someone who teaches you um, the well. Let's let's just put this out there: the not so truth. A truth that uh, only exists in the mind of uh, somebody that doesn't want to believe until things start happening to them or they move into a home uh, that's horribly haunted of some sort and then have troubles uh, within their family and they're then fighting to understand their reasonings and you know what, and then someone like me gets called into their home to try and figure it out. Okay, my kids are gonna have their understandings, gonna know what's gonna do, what to do. Um, what to deal with, how to deal with it, blase, blase, blase. Look, I'll even put it like this. I was studying demonology at the age of 16, all right, um, between the church and uh, many other things. So we'll go on that further for story time. I don't know what this car is doing. It's kind of weird. 
They just kind of remember the curve. That was weird. All right, but uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, where, whereas uh, most quote unquote normal children, you can't even see my hands until I did the hand thing. Can you see me? This car is going in and out some nights. Anyway, we're taught, ba they're basically taught to be afraid of the dark. Go ahead and be afraid of these things. Uh, be afraid of the paranormal. My kids are not. They have a they have a further understanding than a adult at the age of thirty plus. Um, all right, so uh, they're ahead of the game, very much so. And uh, speaking of the the whole demonologist part, let me tell you, I get called into some cases uh, where ghost hunters. It's just uh, beyond their means. Uh, they they don't understand what's going on, etc. etc. And uh, that's when I get called. I, I get called on uh, some severe cases, and that's cool with me. I'm cool with that, you know. And uh, as far as the paranormal, I mean, I've had I have a daughter. She's sitting right here. I'm not going to show you her or nothing like that, right? But um, you guys know her name. Uh, her name's Haley. And uh, she has uh, already shown uh, some interesting, um, you know, insights, shall I say, uh, as far as a spiritual and paranormal uh, connection. So um, I'm not going to snuff it. And that's what a lot of adults do. They're, oh, you, you, you're just hearing things are wrong. Your dreams don't mean shite and this, whatever it may be, you know. And, and the problem is it gets snuffed out as a kid, so you get taught that. And that's what you're taught. You're taught not to believe in the paranormal. You're, you're taught not to... You're taught to fear in the dark. And there's, there's absolutely no reason for that. It's crap, you know. Um, so, anyways, it, it really can, it kind of concerns me, Mike. <laughs> People are talking about child safety. Child safety, how about this? Uh, how about you teach your children uh, a more realistic... Uh, sense of truth uh, as far as the reality is concerned uh, not this make believe crap of oh there's a boogeyman in your closet just to get them to eat their cereal or something you know stop doing that how about we stop doing that world and uh, we teach them we teach them what we know we learn we adjust that way they'll have that knowledge as a child uh, to to grow from a young seedling to a big, strong, sturdy tree. Does that make sense? Hmm? All right. So hopefully I don't see any of this crap about raising your child this way or that way. Look, I've seen... <laughs> oh, the crap. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people's um, kids scared of their own shadow. Uh... And, and you know what? I, I'm not going to tell them differently. I mean, some people experience paranormal. Some people don't. Some people don't experience it until their late 30s. And some people just reject it all entirely. Uh, to include spirituality, spirituality, uh, religion, whatever may have you, okay? And uh, to, to, to try and subject yourself and be like, oh, you're raising your kid wrong uh, for this and for that, for that. Well... Oh, the crap. Obviously, you don't know what you're talking about. And, and normally, honestly, it comes from... Good morning! Normally, it comes from uh, people that don't even have kids, so... Which is very interesting. <laughs> this video is a little bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say, though, all right? Um, if not, I, I will totally go into further detail later. Uh, I've been steadily researching some other stuff. Been a little sick. I'm starting to feel better. So Steve is going to have some more videos coming out soon. Uh, be, be very aware. Um, I think we're going to do, hmm, depends on, if, it depends on uh, what's going on this weekend, but, uh, there's some cool stuff coming up very shortly. Uh, I uh, have noticed some interesting progress 
towards um, okay towards uh, others people's others others people's look I'm I'm shivering on my words guys sorry sorry look it's all dark again can't even see my face look next video <laughs> look blah but sorry. look next video I promise will be a face one uh. We'll get down to some shite together. We'll discuss some very interesting things between demons, uh, spiritualism, uh, religion, and uh, a paranormal ghost. Everything you want to know. Love you, baby. And uh, we'll get back on the kid matter as well, because that one kind of that one struck a chord for me. Uh, that's the lights from the bus. Look at it. Hello, Steve. How you doing? It's all flashy. <laughs> so um, we'll see you guys very shortly I love you all peace